In Nightingale, players can cultivate and explore the endless worlds through its intricate world generation feature. They can traverse from serene forest biomes to more demanding landscapes like the swamps. And each world offers unique resources for farming and crafting. Moreover, players can modify each realm even after it's been created, adding a layer of personalization and strategic gameplay. The possibilities are virtually limitless, making every player's experience unique. Opening portals allows us to craft a whole host of different varying worlds, basically infinite. From crafting realm cards like the desert to major cards like provisioner card, for instance, to minor cards that allow us to tweak the existing realm that we're in while we're in it. Things like Dragon's Horde, Treasury, Marksman. There is an infinite possibility. You will find a portal somewhere on your map and you'll need to travel to it to open it. Eventually, you'll be able to craft your own portals. Like here, I got two, and I got two different portals on standby. I'll open this one, for instance. Now that this one's open, just know that you can only have one realm open at a time. With us safely on the other side, we can explore to our heart's content. Don't worry, once you fill up, you don't need to build a base here to do anything you want here and then travel back only after you're completely done. You can come and go freely. And as long as you don't hit close portal or use your fast travel point here on your map, this takes us directly to our estate car, which is in a different realm. So for instance, if I click this we get this are you sure you want to travel to your respite realm you will leave this realm and may not have access to return so just be careful you don't want to use your fast travel so if you were all the way across the map say way over here and our portal is right here we are going to need to physically walk all the way back unless we're completely done with this realm then of course we would want to fast travel i know there was uh at least a couple of you that were a little confused by this i didn't clarify it very well in the last video and i wanted to go over exactly how to do that you can get your hands on these cards by exploring the world completing puzzles checking out pois as well as as you can see right here doing this quest will unlock the herbarium major card this one will do, unlock the hunt card, the gloom card, and basically you can craft them yourself using an enchanter's focus. As you can see here, all of the different cards, different things that you can add. These are all realm cards, major cards, which is like an augment to the realm. So I could go for instance, we can see the three biome carbs that I personally have right now is a desert, a forest, and a swamp. And these aren't set. These are procedurally generated maps, so you will get a different one every single time you roll a forest card or a swamp card or a desert card because there's procedurally generated. You won't find the exact same POIs in there, and everything will be in different places, different types of POIs, etc. The major cards are augments to that biome allowing you to further customize that biome, that realm, that world, whatever you want to say, even farther. As you can see, the Provisioner card is about gear score level 40, and the Astrolab is about gear score level 30. Take these into account when you're rolling them. Of course, as you can see up here, the particular biome cards have no gear score requirement because that comes from the major cards. You can also down here, which I cannot change because this portal is in standby, and I am not done with it yet, but you can change the realm difficulty when you're rolling it. So for instance, if I did something level 40 and I was level, say, a gear score of level 20, I could set this to easy or medium, hard or extreme, however I wanted. I could also share it with the public and I can reset it. Of course, this reset will be active only after I've at least traveled to that realm one time. And that's not everything we can do. You can also see something on your map called a Realmic Transmitter. This is where mine currently lo is located. And what this does is consume minor cards. These minor cards have a direct effect on the world that you are currently in. So for instance, right now I have something that increases the duration of my food effects. The damage I take is modestly reduced. I have cold immunity and I have heat immunity. However, 
the trade-off is all the damage I deal is reduced. So it's a trade-off, and I have to decide exactly what minor cards I want to play to e augment my existing world, depending on what my goals are. So things like Treasury Card. This increases the chance of finding Essence. Then Veil. This allows you to move quickly, leap safely from great heights, and use stamina more efficiently. And this card increases the damage we deal and our efficiency while harvesting, but it weighs us down and really limits our carrying capacity. So for instance, if I was going into a world to fight a boss or tackle a difficult POI, I might consider playing this card to do more damage. And then if I wanted to go ahead and change, for instance, this particular card to something more suitable afterwards because I was going to farm materials, I would pick a different minor card. This allows me to further tweak the worlds that I'm in. Just remember that if you're not in your respite realm, your respite realm is where you build your base and you click travel to respite and you're in another realm. I said this before, but I think this is really important to say, you will not be able to return according to the tooltip. There are all kinds of cool things like the Blood Moon card, which increases the chance that enemies will drop rare items, but it also decreases our maximum health and regeneration rate. To play these cards, you'll need to find what's called a Realmic Transmitter on your, on your map. They'll be in random locations because it's procedurally generated. So right here is a Realmic Transmitter. This thing is pretty cool. You'll be able to find one of these in just about every realm that you go to. And here you can play minor cards. It'll allow you to change your current world, the current realm that you're in. So if we go ahead and come up here, and we click on it, this amazing, crazy looking structure here. These are all the minor cards I personally have right now. So let's go ahead and let's do a trickster card. Currently, this is what I have active in my world. And I'm just gonna play another one. And now I can jump crazy high. And I slowly glide down. And that is that is the effect of this. Or you could put it into Eternal Night, fight the bound. All kinds of amazingly cool things. And as far as I'm concerned, I really like the realm mechanic because too many games limit the size of their maps because of load times and weight on your computer. And not everybody has the very top of the line computer, myself included. This allows me to basically roll infinite worlds that I can explore while of course keeping the load on my PC lower. It's really nice. And like I said, I have two different ones queued here. I can build as many of these as I want and I do have the other portal in the world, which I can put a whole different portal on. I just can't have them all active at the same time. Only one can be active, but that's okay because they just go into standby mode, as you see here. And this one's in standby mode as well. These are two different realms. I can use these to travel back and forth. And when I'm done, I'll close it out and I'll roll a different realm to get different quests, find different POIs, unlock different blueprints from traders and POIs, all kinds of good stuff. And it just is going to get better because the developers at Inflection Games have said that they plan to do more with this system. This is just what it's starting with. And there's a lot. It's pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think down below. If there's something you guys are really interested in, you have a question, let me know down in the comment section. I will do my absolute best as long as I'm able to, to go ahead and answer it and bring a video to highlight that for you. Anyways, I'm Grand Data Gamer. Thank you so much. And remember, be kind to each other.